even keeping up good hygiene can become a really challenging thing. everyone Anna here I am feeling it holy smokes but I slept so much better last night and I even slept in I don't eat more than I normally do which was nice I guess oh I have such a bad sore throat my voice is like ugh. oh and I have this black thing on my face <laughs> Detoxing my face, trying to clear it up some more. It just it feels amazing. My beloved detox mask from Unique. I will put a link to that in the description in case you guys are interested in looking at that. It really has really helped transform my skin. Um, and I'm hoping to focus on some detoxing today, but to be honest, today is my shower day because it's Sunday and it's hard to get up the energy to do something that you need to do, like take a shower when you feel so horrible, but you're looking forward to it, but you've, you're paying the price for something that you did do, or you could just be feeling horrible because you're feeling horrible, which happens to me all the time, and my infection's getting worse, and my j- uh, Anyways, hopefully the next time you see me, my hair will be washed and I'll be clean and not gross, but sometimes it takes me like until the end of the day to work up like my energy. Not really energy, but like my mental, like you have to do this, Anna. <laughs> so we'll see what happens well it's about seven hours later clearly I haven't taken a shower I just woke up from a semi sort of kind of nap where I was like sleeping sort of, awake sort of, in pain, and sleeping for like maybe an hour, but kind of napping. Does that count as napping? I don't know. So, um, but my older sister was here. She doesn't live with us anymore. She has an apartment with a friend, and she comes over after church on Sundays and she does laundry here and so she visits and we usually talk for a little while and she was on a little trip last weekend and so we, she didn't um, come over obviously so she came over today so that was nice we got to catch up and I we were talking all about how you know my colon's not working and yada yada and then I tried on a jacket for her and we were talking about it and we were talking about, you know, whatever, normal stuff. I, I'm a little out of it. I figured I'm just like, I'll just pick up the camera and report to them that now it's super late and I have to go take a shower. The problem with things getting late is it's fine taking a shower at eight o'clock at night because that's what time it is but then I take a shower which takes kind of a long time because of all this anyway and then I have to eat and then we have my lactated ringer things just get late and then it throws me off and then it throws my sleeping off but when is my sleeping not off I don't know the next time 
you see me, I promise you, I will have clean hair. It will not look like this. It will not be bonkers. It will be a little tame. It will be wet and it will be clean. And I will be clean and sparkly. So, and I will not be in the same clothes. So you'll be able to tell, okay? And I don't know why I'm telling you why you should, how you're going to be able to tell because I'm pretty sure that, you know, you know how to tell when someone's taken a shower, but hopefully you've taken one a couple in your lifetime. <laughs> I'm joking around a little here, but it's not really like my laughter isn't coming out because my chest is like, <laughs> humidity. It's all of a sudden gotten really hot and humid and I'm like coughing like crazy. Guess what you guys? I'm clean. Holy smokes. It can take me a long time to shower when I'm this exhausted and in pain. But then I finish and I'm done and I'm sitting in bed and I have just this, oh, I'm clean. Yes, I can keep myself clean and I hygienic or whatever you want to call it throughout the week. I can wash my hair. There's just nothing like taking an actual shower. So it's a, it's a great feeling. Now I'm actually finally eating because I wanted to take a shower before I ate anything. So I took a shower and an empty stomach. Don't ask me. Don't even ask how many times I've done that. Um, actually, no. I don't think I've ever had an empty stomach in the past year and a half, at least. <laughs> I mean, like, I, it, I was hungry, but... Um, so I, I have some food, and then um, I still have to change my dressing. It's wet, and we have to change it today anyway, because it's the next week, so... Ugh. But my mom's putting my little sister Emma to bed, and I'm going to eat, and then I guess we're going to change my dressing. It's not a bad ordeal. It's just like a ugh, something we have to go through every week, and we've been doing it for two and a half years, and it kind of just gets old. But that's life. You just got to keep pressing on and doing stuff that you don't feel like doing, but you need to do it. So that applies to countless things about life, not just dressing changes for your tunneled catheter, your power pick, things that people just don't understand what this thing is. I always have to say like three different names in order for people to understand. I will have to create a video and tell you guys exactly what is in my chest because it is not that, 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 or that, which I usually have to inform people of. Anyhow, I'll see you later. Well, now I have a clean dressing and a clean body. I just have to say that even keeping up good hygiene daily, like brushing your teeth, washing your face, you know, say brushing your hair or washing your hair or anything like that, um, it can become a really challenging thing when you're so so sick and I'm not talking about like how I've been you guys haven't seen me yet really sick um not really there's times where I'm unable to get out of bed and I'm or I'm only barely hobbling trying to stay upright, going to the bathroom and coming back. So nothing happens in my hair. My teeth get a little more squirrely and my face really doesn't get washed for a few days maybe or a day or whatever. And yeah, I'm sharing this on the internet, folks. There you go. Because I think it's time to be honest with ourselves because it is something that truly is an actual struggle when you are dealing with a debilitating chronic illness. 
and there are days when other things become a priority like trying to stay alive that's always a good priority to have in my opinion <laughs> oh my word yes yeah oh yeah so anyhow I'm gonna say goodbye and <laughs> I will see you guys super soon good night